everyone. First clip today, we've got this, the normal right turn only and straight on arrows, which you know what's going to happen. Now, if it wasn't for Father Christmas on his bike there, you'd be able to see that that car there was in the correct lane to go straight on. But queuing is not for that car. Too important to do with you behind us. Now this here is the same junction, but coming from the opposite direction. So I was there where the arrow was. And look how the first couple of cars actually get it right. That's what it should have been. But there's always an Audi that goes from that lane, the right lane, and turns left. Nobody does it better than an Audi. We ain't finished yet. Here we get the Peugeot. We go straight on from the right turn. And we ain't finished yet. We get the Asda van that's in the straight on lane. Turn right. You don't want to wait in that traffic, obviously. And this is what they're trying to avoid by going in that right-hand lane, all that traffic. Now this car pulling out of its drive on the left-hand side here. Your first manoeuvre of the day is to make someone stop. You make two people stop, actually, the car opposite me. That wasn't very well looked. Now in this clip, I'm not proud of myself, as in I do one of my worst habits that I've got on the road. I actually clap. Every time I hear myself do it, I cringe. Delivery drivers, they're going to park on double, double reds, these, these are. You've got to come early o'clock in the morning, not rush hour. That's going to cause a fucking hassle. Well done, mate. Good job. Really, mate? Uh, no, fucking hell. The world is full of idiots. Balls a fucking yeah. hassle. Well done, mate. Good job. Good job. Yeah, it's fine. You can see behind me. Really, mate? Uh, no, fucking hell. The world is full of idiots. We're looking at this car here that almost goes into the back of that bike. I mean, what are you looking at? And just to show you the traffic that that lorry is causing. It is pretty busy here in the morning anyway, to be fair, but it doesn't help. The famous school run. Two idiots parking there in the red arrows, leaving it very tight for everyone else. They could park anywhere down this road, but they park almost side by side. Parents on school runs. Zigzags. Dropping their kids off. Just dropping off there, you? Another one. Keep me waiting. On zigzags. But you drop off there. And I know someone's going to Oh, zigzags again. I know someone's going to say you. I was on double yellows, but I'm allowed to park on double yellows to drop off.
Now it's a busy old road. A little bit of give and take down these roads because they, they are quite tight. But not from this car. Literally drive straight, straight at me. You stupid bitch. Yeah, not proud of that either. I could have followed that car, but I didn't. As I say, a bit of give and take. So I wait and let some of these through. No give and take. But will someone return the favour? Yes, I get a flash. And you'll be surprised to know it's a, only a BMW, a German car. Now, we're coming to the end of the road here, and now we're looking at the kids crossing the road. Where are these three idiots in front of me thinking they're going? I'm in a road, you know. I'm not on the pavement. I'm in a road. These three idiots here. So what are they going to do? Walk into the centre of another road? Not to mention these two idiots. Now, you'll see another car here. It's parked. Another mum. Parked in a stupid place again, School right near run, the bollards. Man. School run. Shocking. But you'll see these kids in a minute when I do the rear view camera. How about this for crossing the road? That's not dangerous at all, is it? School run, man. School run. Shocking. Now this next clip is all about the new highway code rules on stopping for pedestrians at roundabouts, which I really don't like. I don't agree with it. I think it's dangerous as hell. You can see the vans going through the, and it hasn't noticed this guy standing here wanting to cross. Now, I've got this car behind me, a mum on a school run. They don't stop for nothing. Now, this is the roundabout here. I've stopped. Yeah, but she carries on. It's the most dangerous change of rule I've, I've known for a while, that one. Next clip. If you're lost, maybe try pulling over, reading your map or whatever. Don't drive at five mile an hour on a 30 miles an hour road soon to become 40 miles an hour road and if you are turning right stay out to the right don't go left also don't pull in front of someone quality bit of driving that one I don't know why this annoys me so much, but it always does. Again, I could have followed that van, but I didn't. I saw that car down there, so I flashed the car. Up she comes. You're welcome. No acknowledgement whatsoever. We've gone a couple of minutes now without having an Audi in the clips, haven't we? Time for another one. You've literally just got out of your house, you've jumped into your little Audi, and your first manoeuvre is to make someone slow down. And then look at them as if it's their fault. He does look a bit gormless anyway, doesn't he? Just from the back. Just to show you that he was in the middle of the road. He could have got out of the way easily enough. Or just wait on his drive. But he's an Audi driver. Now this ambulance behind. I've spotted it already. In the mirror. 
he's not getting any closer to me so there's no reason for me to pull over yet plus this road is quite bendy doesn't really show it too much on the uh, camera but it, 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 there's quite a few bends Still not really gaining on me, but it's almost time for me to pull over so I can let him go. And I've not slowed him down or anything like that before anyone comments, as you can see. So I pull over. How's your luck? Yeah, and he wants my turn in, or does he? I think he's a bit lost. Always had kept that dream of making the squad. There's obviously times where you might feel like you're playing well and wasn't selected, which was 40 mile an hour road, and he pulls out like that. You fucking twat, fucking idiot. And fucking he did need someone to let sweat. him go. From Fucking the other side. Idiot. There's that rule again, roundabouts. Now these pedestrians here, not a problem. They even acknowledge me. It's that one there. I mean, where is that going? That one, don't, that one hasn't got any right of way walking across like that. That one, don't, that one hasn't got any right of way walking across like that. I don't think the lorry driver was that impressed with her neither. 